I remember seeing this very historic, archaic building. And I walk through and I see this red carpet and these beautiful big rooms where students are just participating, they're raising their hands. And so I remember feeling like this is a place where history has been made and this is a place where history will continue to be made. It was a place that um, I knew that I just, I had to be there. So at the end of the trip, I wanted to get something that would help me remember this university. And I find this blanket. And as I turn it over and it says, it cost $200. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? This school is way too much money. The school is just way too much. My mom comes over and she says, so Swan, if this is the blanket, it's gonna help you get through the next four years. It's gonna help you think about Georgetown. It's gonna keep you focused on your, on your goals. Then this is the blanket that we need to get. If you dream what's gonna happen, then it's gonna happen. My mom goes, life has a funny way of working out. Just claim it and it will be yours. I says, all right. I'm gonna go to Georgetown University and I'm gonna get this blanket. And so we pick up the blanket and, and for the next four years, like this blanket sat on my bed. Um, it's what I used to keep me warm. And this blanket meant that I needed to, to pursue my dreams regardless of what was gonna happen. So senior year comes, it was in December. Um, I was checking all the forums. People were saying, oh, got my letter, got my letter. This was like a week ago, two weeks ago. So I'm wondering like, where is my letter? Um, and so I get my letter. It starts out as every bad letter starts out. There were so many different applicants this year. All of them were so competitive. It was a very tough process to go through, but you have been deferred. And I remember just my heart kind of sinking and feeling like everything that I had worked for for the last four years was almost like a, a failed dream. And so I remember feeling defeated. And so a kid through college counselor reached out to me. His name was Brian Contreras, and he says, uh, Josue, you've been talking about Georgetown for as long as I've met you. For the last four years, every program that you've been in, you're like, yeah, yeah, I want to go to Georgetown. You've always told us this was your dream. So why are you going to give up on it now? And he said, Josue, the one thing that we have power control over is rewriting that essay. So let's see if we can rewrite that essay, tell them who you are, tell them how you're different, and let that shape your story. I can't remember the exact day, but I can remember it was a spring day. It just came from running some errands with a friend, and I see this envelope from Georgetown University. It looks very much like the one that I got deferred from. I don't think it's gonna happen. And it starts off as it always starts off. There were 19,500 applicants this year. We had 1,580 applicants that we could accept. I remember thinking, ah, like, this is it, like, it, it, didn't, it didn't work out, it's okay. Like we tried, we tried. And then I read the next couple of lines. We're proud to offer you admission to Georgetown University. And I had to read that a couple more times. I was like, wait, we're proud to offer you admission. Admission, what is it? Let me look that up real quick, admission, just to confirm. That means that I've been admitted, I've been accepted, like I can go here. And so immediately I, I called my mom, I said, mom, mom, you won't believe it. I got accepted into Georgetown University. And it was just kind of like quiet for like five seconds. Kind of like in disbelief, I was like, mom, I got accepted. And she was just like, I, I cannot believe that you're, you're, you're achieving your dream. That you set out, you said that you were gonna do something and you made it happen. But my mom was right. If you put your, your claim out there into the world, the universe has a funny way of returning it back to you. Still standing, still standing, the needle.